Palestinian militants in the Gaza Strip have fired a rocket into southern Israel, amid a sharp increase in tensions. A statement said sirens were triggered in Israeli communities near the border but the rocket landed in open countryside and no one was hurt. Earlier, six Palestinians were shot dead near the border fence with Gaza. There has been a spate of attacks and confrontations between Palestinians and troops in recent days. The military statement said the rocket was believed to have landed in a field not far from the border early on Saturday. Can Israel and the Palestinians contain spiraling violence? Gun and knife attacks by Palestinians have left four Israelis dead and many wounded since last weekend, while at least three Palestinians have been killed during clashes with security forces in the West Bank and East Jerusalem. Ismail Haniyeh, the leader of Hamas which runs Gaza, said a new intifada, or uprising, was underway although the BBC's Yolanda Nell in Jerusalem says the scale of violence does not yet amount to that. Palestinian medical sources said the six Palestinians were shot dead and many others wounded in two separate incidents in Gaza on Friday when Israeli troops opened fire. The Palestinians had been protesting in solidarity with Palestinians in Jerusalem and the West Bank. The Israeli military said more than 1,000 rioters had massed at the border fence, throwing a grenade and rocks, and rolling burning tires at Israeli forces. After firing warning shots, troops fired towards the main instigators to disperse the riot, a military statement said. In Israel on Friday, police reported an apparently nationalistic attack by an Israeli, who they say stabbed two Israeli Bedouins and two Palestinians. The attack in the southern city of Dimona was apparently in retaliation for stabbing attacks on Israeli Jews this week. The suspect was